Yay Star P Series PBX Cloud Edition is now officially announced. This means that we have brought all UC functionalities to the cloud platform. As Yay Star Channel Partner, we can now start to promote the more convenient and flexible P Series PBX Cloud Edition. In this video, we'll explain how to deploy a P Series PBX Cloud Edition for the customer. Well, first thing first, we offer a 30 day trial with no payment upfront, so our partners can have a test run on the P Series Cloud Edition. It is open for applying on our website or through the Yaystar Panda portal. We can also place an order in the Yaystar Panda portal or from any local distributor. Once the purchase is done and service is established, we'll receive a welcome email indicating that the instance is created successfully. In this mail, we'll find an activation link and code that we can use to enable our instance. So we click on the activation link, we'll see the instance activation page. Here we simply drop the activation code, click on enter, and the PBX is enabled. We can enter the cloud PBX for the first time. There will be a configuration guide for us to quickly prepare the instance. So let's follow the guide now. First of all, we need to set the administrator username and password for this instance. And then, we put in the mobile number and email address for the administrator so that the system can send notification or alert to a system maintain the system. And afterward, in event notifications, we can define under what scenarios should the system trigger the notification and how to send it. Once we're finished, we can click Next to move forward. For the second step, we configure the system date and time. Here all we need to do is to find our own time zone. And then, we choose to enable or disable daylight saving time and time display format. We can set according to the customer requirements. Then we click Next to continue to the localization settings. Here we can further localize our PBX. First of all, we need to set system prompt language. The system prompt is embedded audio prompt displayed automatically on a certain scenario. The default setting is English. Of course, Yaystar has made audios for other languages. We can also click download online prompts to choose a language. Then we can change the language for notification email, name the PBX, and choose a name display format accordingly. Then if needed, we can enable allowed country and region code dialing protection. This is a security mechanism where PBX rejects all international calls except for these dialed with the dialing code defined here. Now we click on Next to continue to the summary. In summary, we have all previous settings listed here. We can give a final check. If necessary, we can change settings. Or we can click on Reconfigure to do the installation wizard again. When everything is clear, we can click on Reboot. The PBX will restart automatically, and all our settings will take effect. The reboot might take a few minutes. Once the reboot is finished, we'll see the login page for the first time. Here we put in the administrator username and password configured previously. Confirm to enter the admin interface. As we have already set up the cloud PBX, we can start by creating new extensions. Let's go to extension and trucks from left sidebar. And getting to the extension, click Add to Create Extensions. All parameters are generated automatically. We can keep the default settings, but all parameters are available for configuration. We can also add extensions in bulk by templates. Click Export. The system will automatically download a CSV template. We can edit this file by Microsoft Excel. Add all extension information into the file and then click on Import to upload it to the PBX. Now we can see all extensions have been created accordingly. And link a service for all extensions will be enabled automatically so that we can make phone calls with Link's web client locally or remotely. We can register SIP chunks to the PBX. In the same category, find chunk setting. Click on Add. In the pop-up page, we can put in the parameter of the SIP chunk. Please confirm with the service providers to see if the parameters are correct. First of all, we can name the chunk. Then we select the chunk type. In most cases, if the service provider offers a username or authentication name with password, we should choose register chunk. 
Then we put in the parameters. We have many service provider embedded and can directly generate template to make the configuration easier. Go to select ITSP template and find the corresponding provider in the drop-down list. But if we fail to find our service provider, we can just select general. Now we can scroll down, do the hostname IP to enter the domain or IP address offered by the service provider regarding the server info. Then put in username and password. When we finish all parameters, click on save and apply. Now, we have finished all basic configurations and we can make internal and external calls with Yaystar P-Series PBX Cloudation. To try out the Cloudation, please go visit our website or Yaystar Panda Portal to apply for a 30-day trial for free. Just don't forget it. Alright, guess that was all we have for this one. Hope you guys like it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.